I am very seriously considering chopping this all the way down. This is a big old orange habanero deep water culture that just refuses to produce fruit for me. It's on bloom formula. It has CalMeg. It's been neglected now because I'm tired of its crap. <laughs> but this thing is it's on the large side, right? I mean, Spider-Man for scale. Um, I don't know. I don't want to completely give up on it. Look at that stupid trunk. Boom. What? I don't know. Should I just cut it all the way back? Cut the roots way back? Try and start it over? It's just so big. And I don't, there might be one or two fruits on this whole thing right now. I have harvested two fruits from it total. I don't see any at first glance. All the flowers that were on this side have fallen off. It's just, it's just a big jerk. So, I think I'm going to hack it up. Let's see. Well, I think the best way to go about this is delicately. Psyllid flies, potato psyllids, and their larvae. They're just jerks. So I'm not even going to try and save this one. I'm finish cutting it down, then I'm going to go throw it in the garbage. Getting real close now. What a mess. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to try and save it for bonsai. It's just, he's asking for trouble. saving some of them guys even with oh that's five months four months worth of work there just let it go this is a mess i need to clean and sterilize the tent i have a seed thing right here that i'm going to try and save so the rest needs to go and just for fun let's chop these off already oh, they had to get the water on it Eric's done tangled up in there, but uh, it's a pretty decent root mass. So maybe it was just the pest pressure. I'm not sure, but adios.